Hello again, uh, you are watching today on ENCHS TV channel 403. One of the stories that uh, we are following for you this afternoon is of course the cabinet meeting that's been taking place in Pretoria. It's coming ahead of next week's State of the Nation address. This is where the government ministers meeting to plan and setting the tone and the agenda for the work that lies ahead for this year. We expect that, of course, they also plan for that State of the Nation address that's going to take place next week, Thursday. And later this month, the Finance Minister, Inoko Dongwane, will also be delivering his budget speech. And we have uh, our reporter, Spamante Koke, in Pretoria. And he's been tracking developments uh, uh, for us uh, there and uh, to tell us the latest. And uh, he's joining us this hour. Spamante, good afternoon. What's been happening today at Lekhutla? It's more deliberations. It's just day two of the cabinet Lekhutla that is chaired by President Cyril Ramaphosa. Day two continues from what was discussed yesterday. It's mainly about government priorities for the year ahead. We are talking about the energy crisis, which is the main agenda item for this cabinet Lekhotla meeting that is underway. Issues of violent crime, poverty, inequality, unemployment, the ailing economy, as well as some municipalities in the country that are struggling with the provision of basic services for the residents. So those are the issues, wide-ranging issues that are being discussed, socio-economic challenges that the country is going through. Stay owned enterprises will also feature strongly during those deliberations, whether it's ESCOM, SAA and others. Remember that after these deliberations, that input will be taken and consolidated. It will form the bigger chunk of the President's State of the Nation address next week in Cape Town. And remember, this cabinet Lekhutla comes at a time whereby the governing African National Congress had convened its National Executive Committee Lekhutla. As the governing party, most of their policies and proposals find themselves through to the government program of action. It's not surprising that the ANC NEC Lekhutla proposed that a national state of disaster be basically implemented in order to resolve or solve the energy crisis. Of course, that proposal needs to be adopted by cabinet and approved by cabinet. It still needs to go through all the legalities and to meet the constitutional requirement for it to be finally implemented. Well, the governing African National Congress is of the view that a national state of disaster will enable its government and ESCOM to be able to respond with speed in dealing with the energy crisis and ending blackouts that are crippling the South African economy. Yeah, it's a lot of issues on, on their agenda. And uh, day two, of course, will be, they'll be wrapping up. Uh, it's uh, just less than a week before that State of the Nation address. It's going to be a busy week as well for the president because I understand as Paman on Tuesday, he'll be in Cape Town addressing the African mining in Daba. And we know the importance of the mining sector in our economy. Absolutely. Also, if you take into account that the mining sector is one of those sectors that have been contributing to the South African economy at times and over the years, they may have faced or the sector may have faced a number of challenges, but it remains one of those strategic sectors that contribute to the country's GDP, the economy, the employment of a number of people. It employs thousands of people, but also that mining in Daba comes in in the context and during this heightened debate in the country about South Africa's just energy transition, remember there are different views as to how can the country undertake this just transition process without compromising and neglecting one of its most precious resources and that is coal. So it will be interesting what the president says there if you take into account that when he addressed the NEC Lekhutla of the ANC, he said South Africa will not just like that abandon coal but it will be a strategic transition even going to the extent of making an example about two 
newly built, you know, coal-fired power plants, and that is Medubi and Gusile saying, well, they will have to go through their lifespan and then they will be phased out later. But not, it's not going to happen now that those newly built power plants will be phased out. Only those ailing power plants of ESCOM that have reached their lifespan will be strategically phased out. And this just transition will not be a reckless one. It has to take into account South Africa's economic business as well as political interests. And it's not only going to be a busy week for the president in terms of his... Uh, engagements and responsibilities but also many people are eagerly awaiting his decision on the cabinet reshuffle those who are close to him say his views is that it should happen after the state of the nation address because you don't want to disturb the government program of action the priority right now should be the state of the nation address after that followed by that budget speech which will be delivered by finance minister and then after that towards the end of february you may then consider implementing changes to the executive but there are those who are saying well he does not have enough time if he needs to move with speed during his last year of his administration, he would need to appoint people who will implement that program of action with speed. So that talk about the cabinet reshuffle continues to dominate the discussions. After this cabinet Lekhutla meeting, the focus will move to the State of the Nation address and when the President of the Republic plans to reshuffle his cabinet. Yeah, will Mondli Kungubele, the minister and the president, brief the media at the end of this cabinet Lekhutla? It's standard practice, and yes, it is expected that it will be so, but there is no indication as to when will that happen. Whether later today, we do not know when they plan to wrap up the cabinet Lekhutla. Remember, discussions are very long. Each and every minister or portfolio will have to make inputs. There will be deliberations, recommendations, proposals, and eventually resolutions. So, so the expectation is that there will be a post-cabinet Lekhutla meeting briefing but we do not know when will that happen whether later today or during the course of the weekend but definitely it it will be happening